Hey there, this is Angela and these are updates from Tuesday, March 30th. All of my seedlings are now spending a significant amount of time outdoors hardening off even though it's going to be a little while before they can be planted just due to uh, we still probably haven't reached our last frost yet. Also nighttime temperatures can still get a little chilly but they're spending most of their days out here if the temperatures are at least in the high 50s. So by the time we reach last frost, they'll be able just to go right out. Most of these out here on the side porch are peppers and tomatoes by far. There's a few uh, annual flowers in here and I think even a couple of perennial plants, some herbs, but by and large, it's tomatoes and peppers. So for anyone who's watching because of the hashtag Single Seed Challenge 2021, I'll go ahead and give you an update first. And here it is. And from the looks of it, it looks like it sprouted a couple days ago because it's standing up straight all on its own. And I feel kind of guilty that I didn't like babysit it or keep up with it like I was supposed to. It kind of was hidden in the middle of a bunch of pepper seedlings. Yeah, so I was like pleasantly surprised to see that today. And if you saw the, my initial video about the challenge, you might remember that I planted Lunaria or Linaria Northern Lights. It's an annual, it's a flower. I planted two seeds because the seeds were so tiny and I couldn't really tell if I got the first one in. From what I can tell, just that one has germinated so far, which is one's all I need. I've got a couple of dill plants there. And then in this little tray here, it's all cabbages and onions. This is borage and more onions. And over here in the bright sun, I've got two strawberry plants. I didn't try to do strawberries from seed this year because I think it's pretty tricky and I'm not ready for that commitment yet. We've already got, got some strawberries on, so that's good. Not sure how long it'll take them to fully develop, but it'll be fun to watch. And in our little retaining wall bed, which has mostly shrubs and some perennials, I got some barley seeds in along the back there. It's black holeless. And those are supposed to get about four feet tall. So I think they might, uh, if they grow up, if they, if they work and grow up like they should, make a nice little backdrop to these shrubs. And then up here in the front, I got some parsley seeds in. It's Thursday, April 1st, and our weather took a humongous turn for the worst, in my opinion. It's 36 degrees here, and we're supposed to get down to 22 tonight. So I'm a little worried about um, some of my shrubs that are just starting to leaf out. And I have a young nectarine tree that has buds on it. So I don't know uh, if a hard freeze, which is what they're calling for, that's what's expected tonight. I don't know if that'll hurt them or not, but I don't want to take any chances. So my only gardening task for today is to get those covered. So I've got some of my small shrubs here, a couple of the perennials, and I just don't know what to expect. The ones that have already leafed out, like majorly leafed out, I went ahead and covered except for these sedums here. I think they'll be okay. If they get hit with the freeze, uh, they'll put on more growth probably pretty soon. So I think that's all I'm gonna do here. And then I'm gonna head up to closer to the front where I have my nectarine tree. So we put this nectarine tree in maybe three years ago and it's still young, like very, seems very tender. I've got my big stack of drop cloths here. That's what I'm using. I didn't know, like, I think a sheet might be too thin. That might protect from a, fr from a frost, but probably not from a hard freeze. And they're definitely calling for a hard freeze. And it's kind of windy out here and it's cold. <laughs> so I'm hoping the drop cloths aren't too heavy because they're those thick canvas ones that you use to paint with. And they're pretty thick. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna work it on this tree. We shall see. So this is the tree. It's probably, I don't know, seven feet tall, maybe eight. I'm not sure if it's showing up here, but it's still pretty young. We've got these 
we've got it staked up with these three stakes, but so there's the tip top of it right there. You can see it's got buds on it that, gosh, they're just starting to, some of them are starting to open up and they are so beautiful. I really don't want this to be ruined by a freeze. So I'm gonna do the best I can and I will show you what I come up with when it's done. So kind of a bad update here. I wasn't really able to get the drop cloth situated on there very well without bending the tip top branches. And like it was really bowing them over because they're very skinny at the very tips. I'll show you. So every time I put the drop cloth on, these very tip top, like very uh, flimsy, very flimsy branches would just bow over like 45 degrees, 90 degrees or more. I'm not sure what to do. I feel like that causing those tender flimsy tip tops to bow so much might do more damage than a freeze might do. And a lot of the buds haven't opened up yet. So I feel like the ones that have or that almost have, those might be killed off, but maybe the buds that haven't opened up yet would be okay. So if you guys have any advice or comments, please leave comments. I'm sure um, by the time this video posts, any comments might be too late, but I'll know for next time then. So that's all for now. Good morning. We did end up having our freeze last night. It's still pretty dark out here, so I'm not sure how my plants did. I'm gonna come back out a little later this morning and check them. Hopefully they're just fine, and hopefully my nectarine tree is fine. So it's later in the day, and I'm out here checking on my nectarine tree, and it really looks fine. There's uh, some leaves there that look okay. Sorry about the focus. It's hard to get this to focus in just right, but these this is the biggest bud, or the one closest to opening up and it seems like it's okay. There we go, there's some more leaves. I think the freeze didn't really do any damage, so that's good to know going forward. Everything looks pretty good. I think, I think that we're safe. So that's really good to know. These are all relatively new plants for this bed, so it's good to know what they can withstand. So that's all I have for this week in the garden. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great weekend. And this is Angela signing off with the friendly reminder to get out there and play in the dirt.